Welcome back to Deathloop. In the last part, we discovered what the LPP actually is. It's not what Colt or I thought it was. It's actually a lot more useful. The LPP is a list of eight visionaries that we need to kill to end the loop. If we miss one or die, then the loop will continue like nothing happened. No pressure, right? The other cult came and gave us some helpful tips on how to take out the first visionary, Dr. Wenji, at the complex. And I guess without making y'all wait any longer, let's load this thing up. What do I have to lose? Well, if you die, your weapons, for one. Unless, of course, you succeed, then you get to keep them. I am always succeeding, even when I'm not. How do I keep my weapons again? Uh, the infusion process? Isn't that why you came up here? Not gonna lie. Me told me to. You're not the only one with other me's, you know. You're not special. Yeah, but if I succeed... Yeah, if. Good luck. This infusion keeps sounding better and better. Ooh, so we do get to keep our weapons. As long as we figure out her research. This is gonna get interesting really fast. <laughs> Sounded like that guy was peeing. All right, the experiments look like they're back at that building where we found the wheel earlier to open the safe. And it was like abandoned lab or something. Maybe if we go in on this side, we'll have a better shot of killing everyone silently and not having them bombard us like last time. Okay, let's check it out. Alright, one... Three, and there's a sniper. Oop, don't see me. Four. And this was the guy earlier, but I didn't mark him. Okay, I can wait until this guy leaves again, and then wait for the sniper to turn around, and then I can sneak attack the sniper. All right, here's my chance. Ooh, he's a scout too. Good choice for a first kill. Hopefully no one will notice the doors open. Okay, we're good. I'll go and kill the guy over there next. This way I can make sure there's no one else in that room. I counted four, but I killed way more than that last time though. This is a nice view of this area. I can snipe everyone with my nail gun. Ooh, she's gonna see me. Nice, we got a map of the complex. I don't remember seeing this last time I came in here. Got some health. Nails. Five. Six. Still doesn't seem like everyone, but it's better than four. Okay, let's kill the other sniper. Perfect timing while they're turned around. If they turn around, then I'll just run down these steps. Okay, anyone else that I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. 
Let's go for it. Oh, dang, I didn't get to him in time. He saw the bodies. Alright, I'm gonna call that a success. I'm getting much better at stealth, I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna toot my own horn here. Could be a slight cheat because I know this area already, but who cares. Ridiculous. Did you see how she weaved the first shot? No way. Mm, no one suspects a thing. This time around was a lot less stressful, I'm just gonna say. We'll attack the sensor and I think we'll be good to go. I'm hoping there's going to be something new in here that helps with the power. Nope, doesn't look like it. Are you kidding me? There's a lot more people in here than I thought. Not bad. Thank you for saving the day, Mr. Shotgun. Let's heal up. Okay, so quick theory. Earlier it said that someone invited Dr. Wenji to their party. And I think that's the Updom party. Which makes me think, how many visionaries are at this Updom party? Maybe we think taking them out like this, one by one, is the way to do it. But maybe it isn't. If we figure out how to keep our weapons like Juliana said, and the visionaries drop abilities... So we could just kill them all and keep their abilities and then kill them all at the party. And then the loop will end, right? Just gotta figure out who all is gonna be there. Because if they're all there, then it's perfect. We just need abilities and better weapons and because of their visionaries, they're gonna be harder to kill. Hotel Wingy. Let's do the puzzle real quick to get the dual pistols. Okay, we'll charge this battery up and then get the other one. Wait, where's the third one? I think we need all three, right? To do the puzzle?
let's just go see anyway. Is there anything new down here? Nope, door's still blocked. And power's still off. Oh crap, I almost forgot all of these. Good thing I came back here. Whoa, this is all blocked now. Dang. Well, it looks like they don't want us to get the pistols right now. Yeah, we need the wheel to get the other gun. But Wingy is in that lab, so we can't get it before we kill her. I was going to go the other way, but let's kill these people first, because they're just going to see us when we go out the other door. <laughs> that scared me. Why am I getting so scared this part? Why is everything scaring me? Just three people this time. This dude is kind of far, not sure if I can hit him. Nope, good to go. Let's get some more ammo. Yep, she's in that small lab, just what I thought. And the bigger lab. Let's check out this building first. Then we'll go to the small one. Smash the loop. No time for a swim. It's a gross misuse of crucial research man out. So we're in agreement. Wait, Wingy's in here? Just one clarification. Okay, then let's go to the other building first. This will be perfect, I can get the wheel. And then kill Wingy with a good headshot gun. That'll make things a lot easier. Oh, grab your camouflage. I didn't see you. Remember when I threw the turret in the water? Good thing I didn't need it. Wait, now she's up here? Oh well, let's do this thing. Wingy, thorough. Should've known. Oh, there's two of them. There's only one door, so if I just stay in the doorway, she can't get out. What? Wait, there's a third one? Huh? Did she just make copies of herself? I need to hack this turret. This turret is going to kill me if I don't hack it. She can't go anywhere since I'm at the door, so... I need to hack this turret. Well, this is gonna be hard.
I guess this makes sense. I heard Wenji in the other building. So she just made copies of herself? Or is it like me having other me's? And Juliana said something about having other me's too, so. Thanks for the nails. All right, let's go kill some more Wengies. I bet the real one All isn't even here. Ammo. Spoiler alert. <laughs> big guns, big moods. Death trap. There's two up there and one down here. Well, as long as there aren't any turrets, I can totally take on the Wingies. All Wingies are. But what if they aren't? Are you saying that we are capable of inferior thinking? Not all. Hypothesis. My new fluctuations in transit create my microscopic deficiencies that become emergent. Where's the end? And end? Don't you too. Let's hack this and then we're good. Hypothesis. Proposal. Kill them. Excuse me? I said... First time we've come to this conclusion. Don't get greedy, Colt. Nope, I'm good. more it looks like one more down there and then the other two are in that building here she comes you're a simp
need a code. Of course I do. Ooh, can't go in the water. Let's head back into the main building. How about this window? I think we can make it. Perfect, just two more. One of these has to be the real Wingy, right? This is a lot of Wingies. Or is this just a ploy and Wingy isn't here, like I said? Some other one then. We are not telepathic. In which case, guessing through logical deduction creates an unacceptable of error. I was worried the sensor was going to be right there. Here we go. Of course, the last one I kill is the real one. She doesn't have an ability or anything. I'm feeling just fine. Unknown unknowns. Wenji wants to use residuum to anchor an object to an individual, but it's in short supply. Each visionary contains significant residuum reservoirs, but the harvesting process almost certainly is lethal. Killing visionaries risk loop instability. That was a lot of tongue twisters in there. I kill all the Wenjis. And I can use this thing to collect the residuum I need to get her machine running. That makes sense, An yeah. observation from this morning's early announcements. The notable leap in the skill and proficiency of Eternalists Colt and Juliana. Yes. And two truths have become apparent. One, the time loop has been active for some time. And both of them retain their memories from each loop iteration, while others, most notably ourselves, do not. Oh, for fuck's sake, Science. It's if like back to correct. That every day, for X amount of time, we have made similar observations. We then focused our efforts on preserving knowledge and memory across iterations. Which All right. Now, just get in this tube shower thing and press the button? Shit, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? An obvious conclusion. One we've likely made before to no effect. And so, these dubious experiments... I will shoot your ass with pieces Wait a second. That's a thought. Stand on the plane. Shoot the button. Some side effects. Death is a small price to pay to hold on to your gear. Dang, I'm dead. Oh well. I couldn't get any of the good weapons, but now this makes life a lot easier. This way, I can go to the complex during the morning and get my gear and I get to keep it. Mission Select These are the districts of Black Reef available during this time period. Pick one to learn more about it or to enter the district. Want a different time period? 
Select and hold the time period indicator to advance through the day's four periods. Remember that time always moves forward, at least until the evening, after which a new loop begins. Press Y to switch to the character screen to gear up with weapons, trinkets, and slabs. Manage your online play with the button on the top left. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? It uh, worked? Infusion and Residuum. You can now spend Residuum to infuse weapons, trinkets, and slabs, allowing you to keep them across loops. Each infused piece of gear will be returned to your arsenal every morning. Harvest Residuum from infused objects across Black Reef and from the glitches left behind the dead visionaries. You can also sacrifice weapons, trinkets, and slabs to gather more Residuum. You cannot transfer Residuum between loops, so be sure to spend it. When you die and reprise, you drop your current residuum at the place of your death indicated by a marker. However, if you run out of reprises in the day loops, all residuum is lost. Okay, so infuse your weapons, spend your residuum because it doesn't come over each loop, and if I die, make sure to go back to the dead body to pick up my residuum I left behind. Oh, oh, oh yeah! It fucking, it actually, it actually worked! Who's the super scientist now? Ah! You and me, baby. Together forever. At least until I break this loop. Okay, so everything that I saw glowing, that's why they had it. So that I could well, pick it up I now. Call you? Mr. Gun feels a bit uh formal. Gun tur. Gun a slav. Maybe the machine. Eh. Oh, I'm good. Fluffy! Fluff ball! The Fluff Destroyer! How sweet Havel. Why does it feel like I'm more here? This shit makes no sense. Blast Master! That seems kind of like a laxative. Mini Colt! Nah, Colt Jr.? Now that has a ring to it. <laughs> uh, it's too self involved. Colt. Yeah! Colt 2! Colt Square! Why the fuck am I naming this gun after me? Just killing time. You slipped away into the tunnels. Dr. Wingy Evans was no match for you. You're off to a strong start. With the power of infusion at your command, you don't need Wingy's tools. Collect residuum by hand and infuse your items when you have enough to do so. And this is just repeating what we already learned. Loadout. Nice. Infuse gear. Dang, we don't have enough to infuse my gun. You can sacrifice stuff to get more. Okay, sacrifice a trinket. Now I have enough to infuse my gun. Wingy didn't have a slap, but most visionaries do. Wondering what to do next? Check out the clues you've uncovered. If you want more slabs, consider going after Charlie Montague, whose shift lets you teleport. Harriet Morse, whose nexus links enemies together. What happens to one happens to all. So I was basically right. Take down all the visionaries and get all of their abilities and keep them. And then all the visionaries are probably at that party. So it's just a giant boss battle. But tread carefully, other players can invade your game as Juliana, interfering with your mission to break the loop. Wait, so Juliana is online players? That's actually a really cool idea. Hopefully those players suck. With this, you can control whether or not other players are allowed into your game. 
This is going to be really fun when I get to be Juliana and I can go and kill other cults and ruin their day. Good luck out there. And remember, on Black Reef, death's just a thing you bounce back from. All right, I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, we'll figure out which slab sounds the best and go and get it. Now that I think about it, we're actually going to go to the complex first and get my weapons, collect some residuum, and then head to get a slab. Bye!